When we think about planning funerals, what surprised me since we joined Bennett is there are so many different ways in which you can make those plans in advance. The intention being that it makes it easier for those that you leave behind because they're fully aware of what your wishes are. We start with the, the celebration of life form, which is very, very simple and just covers the absolute basics of what somebody's wishes are. But if people wanted to go into it a bit further, we've got this great document, the Funeral Planning Wish List, which has been devised by Jane. Um, that she's, and it's from her experience of working with families, and it's, it's so in-depth, and it covers options that I didn't even know. It does cover every little bit, and it is done, it is written and devised, like you say, by someone who has actually been there. It's really just to put your mind and your family's mind at rest. Absolutely. Um, and totally free of charge. Yeah. But you can just come in, you can talk to one of us, we can go through it with you, and you can walk away knowing mm -hmm. that everything that you want mm -hmm. is put at rest and looked after by us. But if you want to go a step further, we can also do the actual prepayment funeral plans. Mm -hmm. um, so you can devise your funeral mm -hmm. and then pay for it at the end mm -hmm. so therefore you know that you pay for it at today's prices mm -hmm. um, and we work with Golden Charter which is the largest provider mm -hmm. and there's also the the element that they work with independent funeral directors and with their plans you have a choice to nominate which funeral director you would like to use um, even with the flexibility that if after you've taken the plan out you move to a different area in the country, you can then renominate so you could choose a, a local funeral di director to there. That's right, and what's nice about being here at Bennett's is that we have so many different options available mm. to us from the order of service mm. where you can have any design or mm. any anything that puts the person um, in question on there. Well this, this one's a brilliant example of that where the order of service was designed using a painting that was actually in this gentleman's home um, and it's become the, the background and the, the actual theme of the order of service and it, it, it means that when his friends and family looked at this during the service that it was so familiar to them. He was a farmer so his family were able to use our Land Rover hearse um, and it, again, it works to personalise and, and bring that person into the service, what their life and, and what they enjoyed and hobbies. Obviously where we're based, there are a lot of West Ham fans in this area. So, um, our, bubble so our bubble machine is brilliant and, and you know, it's, it's something that, that came up and was mentioned in, in one funeral. So we bought the equipment. And it's nice because they do different colour ties too. Yeah, so along with the bubble way. machine, you could wear the claret and blue ties. Yeah. We can really make it mm -hmm. specifically unique to yeah. that person. And it is really a celebration of their life. Yeah. Things are totally different now. We mm -hmm. all, all have these traditional views of funerals and funeral directors. But things have changed so much mm. um, that they really can be personalised to exactly yeah. what you want. Like you say, the camper van, the motorbike, the tyres, the music, mm. the coffins. Mm. They're not just wooden boxes. They can be cardboard. They can be blinged with yeah. glitter and pictures and high heel shoes and absolutely yeah. anything you want. And people don't know about this because it's not normally thought about mm. until the very last mm. moment and at that moment you don't you just want it to be done mm. and finished and you don't want to necessarily discuss it mm. and that links back in with the wish list because something like color schemes that can all be detailed in there and another element is life is so busy and families are getting more and more complicated um, and if you have a family where there's some friction already, the wish list or one of the prepaid plans can actually work to unite that family because the person who has passed has made all the decisions so there can be no further arguments and everybody within the family is comforted by the fact that what happens on the day is exactly what that person would have wanted. I think the difficult thing is, is people don't like to talk about their own mm -hmm. funeral, do they? But unfortunately, it is one of those things that really is the best thing for everyone and a selfless decision on behalf of your family. And it doesn't have to be an uncomfortable situation when you, when you, you want to, to look to, to pre-plan your funeral. I had a lady call me the other day, she's an 85-year-old lady, 
Um, she's lost her husband and she doesn't want her daughter to be burdened when she passes. So she, even though her daughter doesn't want to discuss it, she wants to have everything in place for when the time comes. So I said, just come in, sit down, we'll have a cup of tea, we'll have a chat. And I know when she leaves, she will feel happy about it. You don't want to be just a number. No. And what drew me here mm-hmm. is the fact that it's really not like that at all. No, People really do care. Is. They do genuinely yeah. care about your feelings yeah. and want to know about that person so that we can do the best thing for them mm-hmm. possible. Every member of the team, even the newest members like us, you can't help but, but work in that way. You can't help but, but care about what you're doing because it's so important for everybody who walks through our door or calls our, our, our telephone number, they're in such a difficult situation and it's, it's our responsibility to make that as, as easy for them as we can.